Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. <laughs> Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good! Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two! Bug up! Catnam is for real cats! I'm the real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to oh. come. Sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having sheet cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away, let them come. My presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! <laughs> Thank you, Vic! We're gonna have shit cake! Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. <laughs> Ready? And lift! <laughs> yeah. Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! Master, <laughs> come on! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Gets extra birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? you okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pierre Class? <sighs> Did you see that? Nice throne! What do you want? I said, nice throne! Mm -hmm. Maybe we want it! Little birdie talk big, but can you afford it? Um, how about one tiny second? <laughs> <laughs> Here, six cans of tuna in oil. Change it. Give it. Happy eating. Nice. What do you think, Sam? Yes. Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! Yes! Yes! Fluffy, I'm leaving for bingo. Don't fight, I'll be home soon. It's party time. Even more boring than last year. And that already was quite a challenge. Well, it sounds perfect. Uh. <laughs> For you, neighbors. Oh, we'll take that. Get up! Uh. A used box? Which smells like... <sighs> sidewalk? No! It's a throne! A beautiful throne! Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away! Get it out of here! <laughs> we hate our present! <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick! Go find a new present! What? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! That is not fancy! We got this! You just enjoy! This is your day! Are we not gentlemen? <laughs> It's your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we just want cake. Never. Extra for us. <laughs> for you, neighbors. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? Do they 
go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah! Sam, let's go! Now! joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? Oh, no. When I left, he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots. I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. Hmm. I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm. You might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. Hmm? Here. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're going to be late. Have a good day, Furbacks. That includes you, Washington. Shake a leg, boy. Just act perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Coast clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm, I'm starving. <laughs> Next up, a hamster who paints! If I, I must, must, I, I must. must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape! Naked! What? What? 
What's gonna happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We don't! What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on, trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Hmm, that looks comfy. Wash said to focus. Okay, Vic, we're good. Dreaded Phil Taxi! Again, uh, thank you. You're done. OMG! No! Ah! Washington, run! <laughs> the Livingstones! Well, hello! What nice pets you are! Too nice if you ask me. <laughs> did you guys do something naughty? Did you? I bet you did. Well, why don't we see for ourselves, dear? <laughs> <laughs> what in the... Oh my oh, goodness! Oh no! How, How did, did a wild, wild fox get, get in, in here? here? But wait! Look! Look! They fought him off! They fought him off! Look at Victoria! <gasps> Our little heroes! But wait, where's Washington? 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 Washington! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Good evening, neighbors! Excuse me, you're probably eating dinner, but a wild fox has our dog! I repeat, a wild fox has our dog! Please help! Get the wild fox! And enjoy your dinner! Thank you! Letting you out of our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. This is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! <gasps> I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. 
I'll get you some water, Sammy. I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. Uh... You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. No. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> Washington! It's me! <sighs> Hello, me? Uh Dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried! Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's cold. 
out here. Ooh. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. Wait, do you wait? <laughs> this is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam. And of course, you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is called Prickly Pear. She's so cute. What are you doing? I can't help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. <sighs> if only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Nick, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hooray, Hooray Captain. Captain! Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> on you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of Ylang Ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's gonna be okay. We can't get angry at the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat, I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud, but the one thing that separates cats from boar is, cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> Man, I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm-hmm. I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone see Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> Everyone 
stop panicking. Sam, until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> worse than no breakfast? I'm so hungry. <sighs> Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops! You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! Meow! <laughs> She's not here. But she was. Where to? What is she Sam? May I help you pack? Idea. What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? That idea? We can't stay here. You little help here. Look, you tried, we tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. i do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? Hmm? <laughs> 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 yeah! It's perfect! My behind is extra fuzzy! Well done, Moth! Your turn! <laughs> You're like a princess! <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. hmm. Don't even think about it. Fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. 
want to stay here? We'll have to keep our secret. About the coolest thing I've ever heard. What? It's horrible. Ear torture is what it is. Yeah! 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 He pretends he's a cat and he can't even stand on his own four paws. It was too emotional for her. <laughs> you can't get away! <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Huh? Uh. Mm. It's a real apple! Awesomely good! How'd you do it? Are you a magician or something? I bet it grows up there. Look, there are tons of them! Looks like fun. Sam, feel like going outside and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Long time no see. How have you been since yesterday? I uh, dug up this treasure just for you, sweetheart. Ah, uh, gee, thanks. Whatever it is, I'm allergic. As you wish. Mm. Oh. You're so cute when you smile. Say what? <sighs> My childhood guitar. Why in the world did I ever stop playing? I think you said you weren't very good. I so admired your honesty. Why, thanks. Well, anyway, I guess I'll just throw this junk out. Junk? He doesn't mean that guitar. He can't throw it out. No! Follow me. I just knew you couldn't live without me. Yeah, I was so upset I was taking a nap. Make huh? room for me, sweetheart. Are you absolutely certain you wouldn't be more comfortable somewhere else? Like in the middle of a highway, for example? <laughs> nah, oh. this is where I feel best, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll snuggled up with you. <laughs> uh Going to the flea market is a great idea, honey. Who knows? We might even find some great new junk now that we've cleared out our old junk. Okay, follow me. Hey, I've got a super idea for a game. I count to ten, and while I'm <sighs> counting, you run off far, far away from me, like, say, to the other side of the city. Easy, right? Let's start. <sighs> One, two, huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Chill out, honey bunch. Huh? I just wanted to clean your ears. How can I possibly make you understand? Don't sweat it, sweet pea. I'll do the other ear next. Uh. <laughs> it's really too bad for the two of us, but you see, I've already got a tomcat in my life. <laughs> yes, in fact, it's the guy who was just playing that 
beautiful guitar riff. <laughs> Sam, my rock and roll boyfriend. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. You can stop now. I don't know if I could take so much awesomeness in one day. I understand. Ugh. I should give my paws a rest anyway. Who was that cat? Oh, he was a nobody. Just some flea-bitten alley cat. So, hang out later? Yeah? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Too high! Uh. We need something to get higher. Check out what I found in the treasure trove. An apple catcher. We can help the girls catch the fruit in the tree. Let's go. Sorry, Wash. I've got other plans. What? You made plans without me? Well, you know, Victoria and me. We get along super well now. She's seen my musical talents and she accepts me as a real cat friend. So, you'd rather sit around with silly Vic than jump for apples with cool me? Sorry, but when you're a cat, Sometimes you just have to hang out with other cats. Okay then, go hang out with your cat friend. But you're gonna miss out on a ton of fun. A ton, I say! <laughs> what kind of awesome cat activity have they got planned for this afternoon? A nap contest? That is so lame. <laughs> Phew, that was a close call. <laughs> <laughs> Been looking for you, Dumplin. Uh, one, my name is Victoria. Two, you're not allowed to come in through our cat flap without being invited. Very invited by me! <laughs> oh, unreal! Where were you brought up? City Dump? Why? Uh, yeah, keep it going, Sam. It's insane. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Go on, do it like that. No, you do it like this. Girls, girls, calm down a second. Let a pro show you how it's done. Mm. Must have been a squirrel. <laughs> you and me can pass through eternity! Awesome, Sam! Awesome! You just saved my life! Yo, oh, thank you, Vic. You know, you're basically my coolest friend. I know. I mean, thanks. Okay then, so see you later, okay? Vic and I are just getting tighter and tighter. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Mm -hmm. So, are you the dude I heard playing the musical chainsaw? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was me, but it's, uh, a guitar. You've been playing for a long time, dude? Yeah, uh, no, not for very long. Dude, you must be kidding. You're awesome. I bet the chicks just love to hear you play. Well, yeah, there is one. Yay! Boy, I really don't have an ear for music. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe you should give me back my guitar now. <laughs> Phew, for a second there, I thought you were going to... <laughs> hey, come back here! <laughs> <laughs> Sam, let me tell you, this is way, way more fun than hanging out with Vic. No, no! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
know this was private property here? No trespassing. And don't ever let me see you hanging around here again. Ralph! <laughs> Sometimes being a dog is cool. <laughs> <laughs> This is way more fun than doing cat stuff! <laughs> Nap time. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. Ooh, an all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course. You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? <laughs> Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel. That's right. The vet's set to arrive by noon. The k k k k kennel The vet? The living stones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets. It is for <gasps> pets. The elves are leaving us there. That could be fun. Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is his! Uh, uh, what? I didn't say we were going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. You'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, Yay. scratched, massaged. We no. can't get groomed! They'll see our zippers. Wait, wait! What about the all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go! <gasps> oh! What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! Uh <laughs> Stone. I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment, but you can just drop off these first-time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation. Come on, guys. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right in. We gotta think of something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners. No. Let's see. Who have we got here today? An idea! An idea! Quick! Ah! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Sa Rah! 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 Rah!
that looks scary, huh? Some very distressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. situation. Uh, hello? Terrible vet here. Hey, buddy. We spotted those wild animals over by the Livingstones' house, and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? <laughs> Come on, lad. Get it. It's your only chance. <laughs> Darn. It's all over. The old chap is too scared. Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those pet-eating beasts! Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby! <gasps> Duty is calling, Vladimir! But I... That's impossible, Velma! But you don't understand! I'm afraid, for dog's sake! I'm afraid! <laughs> I'm a coward! Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Do I know you? It's me, silly Susie! Oh, sorry, I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back where they've got us! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... Here I am, and not a minute too soon. Hey! Hey! What's going on? We 
came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! yeah. Quick! Yeah. The suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No! They were with you in the cage! You must yeah. be kidding! It was our very last chance! <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> It was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? Huh? No. No. Oh. There they are! But a howl! The who? Oh, thank goodness! Oh! You said they'd run away! Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to! Home sweet home! Looks like they were just missing you two! We, we miss, miss them, them too! too. I'm so glad our kettle could bring you closer together. I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch. Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey... Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly! What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. saw me. That was a close call. Yeah? Oh, diary. I hope you had a nice nap. Because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything. Like how Washington drives me wild. Should Susie really be flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, it better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. 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 You were supposed to keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our catnip. 
Wait! Huh? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, hey, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Hmm? Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nugget, you're not going to tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. Of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Really? Oh, yeah, of course, you're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget, this has to remain just between us. A secret. Our little secret. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, cool. A friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. Oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. <laughs> what? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. Yeah, but I don't want to leave TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington, <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Oh, diary! I have so much to say today! Huh? Where is it? Diary! Where are you? Oh, 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 oh diary! How could you have gotten lost? What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <laughs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <gasps> <gasps> We gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy! No, 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 no! I'm 
sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Uh... Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington, but a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wash. Sam, I don't have a second to lose. We have to go tell her sister our little secret. What? Why? Because she lost her diary. Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets. She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy. Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world. Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! No way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Sam, look, buddy. Not now. I... Is this Nugget's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw you earlier. In the yard. <laughs> the only thing she saw was you, waving to her. At least she thought you were waving to her. <gasps> Phew. Washington, you huh? coming? We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget, it's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know. It's tragic. But also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. Oh. <laughs> 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 Washington, you drive me wild. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everything's got to be perfect tonight. I think the new boss is finally starting to notice me. Just the other day, he almost said my name correctly. That's great, honey. But then, he tried to high-five me. And I missed. Well, it happens to everyone. Not really. But tonight, I have a second chance, and I'm not going to screw it up. Honey, relax. Just enjoy the party. Don't stress. <laughs> 
Now, you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Gooper, is coming tonight. Yes, he is. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yuck. Guests make you do cute things. And they try to pet you. And worst of all, they talk baby talk. I'm out of here. I think guests sound like fun. here. Don't you feel silly? <laughs> Come in. Oh, wait. What's the secret password? Oh, <laughs> he's just kidding. Come in. Make yourself at home. How about some punch? Do you have any food? What happened to us back there? We went completely wild. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like shaking me. Yeah, I couldn't hold back. I was in a wild groove. Hey, Talon, I rocked. and their music. Keep it together. You heard what Mr. L said. No, oh, oh, I know. Now you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> You guys, whatever you do, do not give in to that great music. If we do, it would be bad for Mr. L, but mostly, really, really bad for us. No. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Don't give in. Our secret life as domestic pets depends on it. Got it? Yes. yes. Don't, Don't give in. in. Don't give in. Don't give in. Don't, Don't give in. Don't give in. <laughs> Our guests are here! Here, pets! Come on! Come on! We've got to get back in there like nice, normal pets! We can do this! Hey! 
come in. You're not Mr. Goober, but welcome. Let me take your coat. Oh, my gosh. This is stressing me out. Me too. If that music comes back, we're toast. Did you know our hearing is ten times better than a human's? You. I think I feel worse now. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, girls. We're gonna need music for this. just as soon as Mr. Goober gets here. Anyone hear from him? No? See? And this one here is just a big cuddle ball. All he wants is to be loved. Uh, who wants some more punch? Do you have any food? Keep quiet, dude. I'll come back soon. Uh, Sam! I was comfortable in there! <sighs> come on, you awesome music. You think you can take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Goober is really late. The guests are getting hungry. Okay, I guess he's not coming. Maybe he didn't like the little smiley face I put on the email invite. Honey, relax. Why don't you show the guests some of Washington's amazing tricks? <laughs> hey. hey, guys, want to see a cool trick my dog can do? What? Okay, boy, show everyone how you can balance a doggy treat for a whole minute. <laughs> Okay, boy. Steady now. Steady. You blasted music. You made me drop the dog treat. You ruined my best trick. Arf, 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 arf. I can't take it anymore. I've got to stop that music. Arf, 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 arf. Washington, bad dog, bad dog. What's gotten into you? Washington! What's happening in here? Arf, 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 arf. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, you know how dogs are. Uh, they like to chase after cars and... Uh, Mr. Goober? Mr. Liverstone, I've been driving around in circles trying to find your house. Uh, I'm so glad you found me. It's Livingstone. Uh, never mind. It was actually my dog, Washington, who found you. Wow, what a smart dog you have, Mr. Livingstone. Very impressive. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I guess I was too wrapped up in the new Daft Prodigy Brothers album to focus on where I was going. Did you know they use sound samples only wild animals can hear? Ah! I can't help but want to go wild whenever I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. What? Mm -hmm. No! Come on! Let's 
Excellent party, Livingstone! Glad you could make it! <laughs> Give me five, Livingstone! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. but also sweet and often delicious. Here comes the uncontested Lord of the Garden. Here comes the snail. Snail, 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 snails everywhere. And in city news, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem, which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morse, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. No! More about Hercules! The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me! <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous? Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Sausages! Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. Please, I'm all about salmon. <sighs> <laughs> Salmon! Ah, yes! Wait till you see this, Mrs. L. I'll save you, squirrel! Oops, sorry. This neighborhood has really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. Help! Help me, Washington! You're the only one who can save this dental in distress. That's cute and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Only you are hero enough! Thanks, girls, but I gotta find something that really needs saving. Lots of people around, and that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington! No! Oh! You okay, ma'am? Stay away from huh? me, mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. <laughs> Honey? You won't believe what just happened. Now, there aren't any even humans around to watch me. But I'm recently deceased. Tell me, Washington. Uh, okay. Well, that was a bust. Wait, I got it. Hmm. 
Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf, 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 woof, 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 arf! ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? <laughs> Human children! The most high-value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <clears throat> I'm okay. <clears throat> but I'm really stuck! <clears throat> there, saved. Perfect! Ha-ha! Uh, remind me again why we're taking their toys. Because, Sam, soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero. Oh, now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant! <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius! Uh, wait! No, I... Uh... Ah! Our toys! I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Yeah? What did I say? But what about the sausages? Yeah, <laughs> well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was... <laughs> Wrong. Wrong? But how can it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here. Ah! Uh, 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 ha ha, very funny. That's enough teasing out of you two for one day. Thank you very much. You. Ah! Eugenie, Susie. Ah! Washington, help. Eugenie, Susie. They're falling! Ah! Wow, really? You too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too? Oh, oh man, I gotta help them! <laughs> Those woodchucks always partying. I'm coming, buddies. It's over. <laughs> 
Hang on, friends. Wash. <laughs> Watch, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, Albie! <laughs> Our toy! <laughs> oh. Thanks a lot, weird dog! <laughs> Breaking news live! Hello again, Jean Francois! It's absolutely incredible! of a toy rescuer dog. <laughs> the mayor is just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. <laughs> well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time. This reward is great, honey, but couldn't they have at least packaged all this kibble? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wienerfest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh -huh. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Nap time. Yay! It's oh. Nap time, bro. Are you two nuts or what? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Wash, go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pistol sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. No. <gasps> burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burgers? Are we scared of burgers now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. But most of all, the TV set! <laughs> Sam, I'm the watchdog. I've got this. Watchdog, you? You think you can protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's Shall we get some popcorn first? All right! No one!
Nobody in here. <coughs> Nobody here either. Nobody here either. <coughs> So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. unusual in here. Wash, it was just a joke. There haven't been any burglaries in the neighborhood. Did you say something? <sighs> Nothing in here. Nothing like a good burglar movie. But I'm still waiting to find out how you secure a perimeter. <laughs> Rest easy, guys. Nobody's in there. <sighs> Find the house keys. Didn't you put them in my purse? Mm -hmm. You didn't. I, I did. I left the keys in the door. We're locked out. Maybe just maybe the door isn't completely closed. Maybe we'll open all by itself. Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! Someone is trying to get into the house! If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec, this may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys, you never know. <laughs> may, may, maybe it's just a visitor. Who are the living stones? Let's look through the mail slot. Yeah. And the owls have keys! Burglars, cool! Go, Wash, go! Save us! Yes, risk everything! Um, actually, you see, I'm not really sure how to... Of course you know! Do it like you learned on TV! I'll help you! Well, um, I secured the perimeter, but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, Wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do! But I don't know how to bark! You said so yourself! I take back everything I said. Please, Bark, pretty please, make those horrible burglars go away. Go, go away, away Washington, Washington, do it, please. <gasps> arf, 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 wolf, wolf, arf. I can bark too. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're goners. They're gonna steal our toys and kibble and TV. And for once in my life, I really wish I were wrong. Okay, so maybe I'm not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you. Listen up. Here's what we're going to do. You guys are going to go and I'm going gonna... <laughs> to... Oh, I'm going to try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. <gasps> yeah! What happened to you? You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. <laughs> ah! Ouch! Yes! Yes! What in the world is all that flour? Uh, since when do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay, let's try the bathroom. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? I may 
might not be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. No. No, Wash. Calm down now. Calm down. It's me. You can't believe a burglar. He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in. Get in through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me. And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out. <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith. Well, those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh, who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdog. Who's the greatest watchdog? Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. What? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too, I'm gonna take off my costume. Did you open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it, it's free! As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stills are back, quick! Darlings, we're home! Good dog, good dog. What a great watchdog you are, Washington. Unbelievable. I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. Oh, no. Beware of dog. I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late! Coming, dear! Taco Fest, here we come! Adios! Hey! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like a party going down. Yo, Yo Samba! Samba! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woohoo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! You guys, for the sake of my sanity, please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> Something even better. Hmm. Voila! 
Samantha, the queen of samba. <laughs> Samantha, Samantha. <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. No, oh, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. No. Oh, Fang. Uh, one and only, kitten. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No, thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great. What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's uh, such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it. Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> like a wild animal. Which is exactly what we mustn't do. We've got to act like well-behaved household pets. Which means? Well, for starters, we could cheer. Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them. Come on, break it up, guys. I'm going to come back for you, Vic. We're made for each other. You're the pussycat of my... Dreams? Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget. Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, arch rival, it is on. I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> ah, not bad, but I'm still thirsty. Me too. I could drink buckets. Let's check in the fridge. Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it going to be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, Fang, I hate to break it to you, but... Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah? Well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. 
and because we're really good friends. Yo, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but what exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. Nick, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. Mm -hmm. Every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? You pretty much get it. <laughs> Easy. Something, anything that says you care, baby. Yeah, she's crazy about me, Samantha. Before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You, you have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me? Enough already! I'm the one you're supposed to be crazy about. What in the world is going on here? It's a game. Join in. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> look at me. I'm so pretty. What's wrong? Can't you see? Run after me. Me. Hey, Fang. Leave Sam alone. I knew it come down to this. Ha! Well, if my arch rival wants to fight to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha, you wanna win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria. She's kind of blah compared to Samantha. You, <laughs> Fang. Check out your sweetie Samantha now. What is this? You took my Samantha. <laughs> the prettiest girl I ever met is gone. Great. Now you're back to worshipping me. And I never want to see you again. Fang, don't be upset. This is what you've always wanted. Me! Fang, wait up! Remember my pretty face? Want to explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. <laughs> that reminds me. I'll be right back. Gotta go real bad. Like I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 